Hi, my name is Alex Pluto and this is Package Main. TensorFlow is a computation library which presents computations with graphs. Its core is written in C++ and has bindings in different languages, including Go. In recent few years, the field of machine learning made a tremendous progress on the difficult problem of image recognition. One of the challenges of machine learning is how to train your models and then how to freeze it so it can be exposed and be used in production environments. Fortunately, for some common use cases, we can see that some organizations started to share their trained models so other people can use them. And in this video, we will use one of them called Inception for image recognition. In this video, we will build a small command line application which will take a URL to an image as input and will recognize it, so output will be a list of labels. For example, you can send the URL of some animal and our program will tell us what animal is it. Sounds fun? Let's start. First of all, we need to prepare our local environment. What we need is TensorFlow, we need Golang, and we need to download our trained models. So here Docker can be very helpful, because we don't want to install TensorFlow on our local machine, as it may be complicated. TensorFlow has official Docker image, TensorFlow slash TensorFlow, but it doesn't contain Go, so I found another image, TensorFlow Go, which contains TensorFlow and Go installed, so our Docker file can be smaller. Let's start with our Docker file. Let's create our Docker file. And uh, the name of base image is citava slash tensorflow go. All right, what we will do next, we will download the inception model. And let's create a directory where we will store this model and then let's use a curl command to save model into inception 5h.zip 5h actually means the version 1 and the URL is download tensorflow.org you can find it on the official tensorflow website models inception 5h dot zip all right and now let's unzip this archive zip this file into model cool and as we will use go let's set up our go environment so we will Use a go uh, use a work dir go source let's call it image recognition and now we need to copy all our files from local machine to our work dir and then we need to run go build and we set up an entry point and it will be our work dir slash the name of our binary will be image recognition. All right, as you can see, our Docker file is pretty easy. Let's try to build. But before we will do it, we will create a main.go file. And uh, as we will pass the URL to an image as command line um, argument, let's use os.args to get it. Um, first of all, let's validate a little bit so if less than two because os args will always contain the first element as the name of executable so we check just if it's less than two and we will block fatal um, like and let's show the usage cognition image url if everything is fine, let's just print our URL. It will be os arcs 
element one. All right, so let's build our Docker file. Docker build, and let's choose some name, image recognition. All right, build is successful. Now let's try to run it. And um, just some URL. All right, now we can receive the URL. The next step will be to download the image from this URL. We will use HTTP package and get function. So response error http.get and provide our URL and let's check if unable to get an image. So Every time we use http.get, after checking the error, we should close the response body. And uh, here, defer call can be helpful. So the response body dot close. All right. So we downloaded our image. Now we need to load our models. Our models actually contain two files: graph file and labels file. Graph file is a TensorFlow graph, and labels file is just a list of all labels. Each label is an on, the, on the new line. And we can find these files after we unzipped our archive. So they will be in model directory. So let's just create the variables for these files. Graph file will be in model and will be in TensorFlow inception graph dot pb and labels will be also in model but it will be imagenet comp graph label strings with txt extension. Now let's load these files into TensorFlow representation. So we will create a function load graph and labels without any input and as output we will have graph and graph will be the pointer to tensorflow type graph so here actually we need to import our tensorflow package I hope my ID can load it automatically so tensorflow.graph and labels is just a string uh, just a slice of strings and error. All right, uh, the package is imported. To make it short, I will use tf and replace here as tf. All right, now let's load our um, graph file. For this, we will use the package io util, for example, read file. And it will be graph file, right? Uh, let's call it model and error and check error here. In case of this, we will just return to nils and error. Now let's initialize the graph using tf dot um, new graph. Right, so it will be our graph, and now we need to load our contain of our file into this graph. So for this, we can use import function. We need to send bytes, so it's actually a model, and prefix can be empty string, and let's just check error. And we also, in case of error, return to nils and error. 
Now let's load our labels. Labels file is just a file where each line is a label. So, for example, we can use os.open function here. Labels file. And also let's check for error. And now we can use the scanner to get through each line in this file. So scanner is um, it's Buffio package. All right, Buffio package, new scan. So let's create a loop. Scanner put scan. And um, let's initialize labels just like so string and in this loop we will just use append labels scanner dot text all right and all right i forgot to close the file so let's do the for f dot close you should do it only after error check because otherwise f will be new and we return graph labels and no error in this case and also I forgot to insert the labels file here cool now let's call this function from main so first will be it will be a model graph because later I will show you we'll have one more graph for image but here is graph for our model and labels and error is load graph and labels and let's check this error and in case something happened we can just say unable to load graph and labels and we show error cool now to be able to work with our image we need to normalize it because inception model expects us to be in specific format the size of image and also the format of the file but we can just resize image we need to create a tensor and we need to run a normalization inside the tensor flow so let's create a function normalize image which will receive the body of our image and return the tensor and here we will send the body of our image, so it will be um, io dot read closer, and it will return us tensorflow tensor and error. So first of all, let's initialize our tensor. We can use tensorflow package and new tensor function and here the value valid values are scalars, slice and arrays all right so let's try to pass this string like the content of our file here so it will tensor error error and as we cannot send read closer to new tensor so let's let's create a buffer here so it will be oh, no. bytes buffer and we can just use io copy to buffer from body and let's use buffer.string here cool now to be able to normalize our image we need to define a graph of normalization so it will be a placeholder defining the rules how to normalize the image so we will create one more function and name it get normalized graph 
we don't have any input here and as output we will have tensorflow graph also we will have uh, input and output and I will show you later how to use it but they have the same type tensorflow output tensorflow output and error in any case cool now this function may be a bit tricky I will not go too much into details because it uses OP package of Go TensorFlow. So I will just show how to set up these rules to normalize our image to a specific inception format. Let's do it. All right, so here we define the rules help to normalize, resize, and set some constants for our image. So as you can see here, we can set the size 224, we can set the mean values 117, uh, we set make batch 0, then we cast uh, our decoded value into TensorFlow float, and our input is placeholder. And later I will show how to use this graph, input and output. So let's get back to normalize image function. So actually here we will call the get normalized graph function to get these values. So graph, then input, output, error, get normalized graph. And uh, let's check for error here. So now actually in this function we will do normal normalizations. All operations in TensorFlow done by creating a new session and running this session. So let's create a session for normalization. New TensorFlow new session. And here we provide the graph and options. So here we actually send our graph and options can be new. And also let's check for error in new session. And now session object has also a close function. So we do the same as OS open. You can use defer session close. Cool. Now let's run a function run of session object. So session run, and then let's see what do we have here. We have feeds, fetches, and targets. So feeds has the type of map with keys as tensor flow output and the values as tensor. So let's create this map here. Tensor flow output with values tensor flow tensor and it will have only one element it will be input that we return from our get normalized graph function and we assign it as tensor we created here in new tensor so actually it defines how we will be normalize the image and then fetch is a slice of outputs Also, with only one element. Element output. And the targets are new. And here we will have two return values normalized and error. And again, we are checking for error here. Normalized value is a slice of tensors. So we can return the first one and the error is nil. Finally, we have a normalized image and now we can get back to our main function and uh, here we will create one more session to actually run the inference to when we will find the recognition. So first of all, let's create a new session in main function will be very similar 
but we will do the session on the model graph, not the on the normalized image graph. So it will be similar model graph new. And in case we have error here, unable to init session. And uh, yes, we need to call session close. Session close. All right. Now let's get a tensor of normalized image. So tensor error normalized image. Right. And we pass the body of our image. It will be response dot body. Cool. And if error is not new, unable to normalize image. Now, as we have our session ready and uh, normalized tensor ready, let's run the session. It will be similar to what we did in here, but let's call it not normalized, let's call it result and here actually we cannot use this input we will use the input from the model graph so we can use model graph we can get the operation by the name input and we get the first one so it's zero and it's not t it's our tensor that we created similar is here but operation name is output and if error is not new we can say like unable to inference cool so actually result uh, variable will contain the list of uh, probabilities so for each label in the file it will have some probability so in case uh, we have 1000 of labels results result variable contain all of them and how can we get it so we can um, use the first element and we can call a function value and now we need to cast it to slice of floats thirty two and we will get the first element All right, so here we have a list of probabilities. Now we need to show them somehow. And we don't want to show them all because it will be a lot. So we need to create some function which will take the top five probabilities and we should assign labels. Let's see how we can do it. We will create a function get top five labels. And to this function, we will send the list of our labels which we got from file and then we have a slice of probabilities will be slice of float 32 and I think I will create a type label let me create this type here which will have two properties label as string and probability as float 32 now let's define the results as slice of labels and now we can make a loop through all probabilities and actually I index will be the same as index of the label in the file so we can just get the string of label by using index so results will be like this append results and we get the label so we can use the label slice and use i index and probability is p so we can have this error here when actually i is greater than length of labels. So let's prevent it. If length, no, if i is 
little equal lengths of labels, you can just break this loop. Cool, now we can return results. And let's pass, so this value I showed you before, let's pass to this function. Call top five labels. Five labels. Send so the labels we have here and probabilities, right? But actually, here, right, here mistake. We have some more thing to do because now we need to sort our labels, and for this we can use a Go package sort. So what we need now, we need to create some type and implement the sort interface. So let's create a type labels. Should be a slice of label type. And now we need to implement three functions in this labels type. It will be uh, len, swap, and uh, less. So let's do it. So first one will be lens, it will return int and just return lens of L. Next function is swap where we send i and j as ints and it doesn't return anything, it just does L of i, L of g, L of g, L of i. And, uh, and one more function is less. And return value is bool, so we can just define how we will sort. And we will sort as L from I dot probability less than L dot G dot probability. Of course, we forgot to return here. Cool. So now it's very easy. We can do like sort dot sort and we can use like labels or results. And now our values are sorted, so we need to return oh that's my function. We need to return only first one, so we can use like this. Cool. Now let's have a final loop through our top five labels and prism to std in range top five labels let's print it label string and probability it will be float so we can use like dot to f as I remember and print percent label is l dot label probability is l dot probability uh, and we will just multiply by 100 so it will show percents cool let's see because I see that we have some errors and probably typos that, which I didn't fix First one is here, yeah, because not labels file, it's f our file and it's labels here. Not labels, cool. And let's check main function, maybe we forgot something. Mm, all right, I will add here slash n, so it will be on the new line. And yeah, let's just try to build our Docker image again. All right, we don't have any error, so now let's just run it. Let's test some fake URL. Cool, we have some error. All right, now let's let's find something interesting. Let's find some 
nice image of some animal and try to use this URL here. All right, let's try with this cute rabbit. All right, we have this image. Let's go back to our console and uh, try to run the same command, but with this URL. All right, uh, we have some labels, but I see that they are not sorted in a proper way. Let's figure out why it's happened. And I think it's because we made a mistake in less function here. So actually, it should be greater than. And I see some warnings here. TensorFlow library wasn't compiled. Right, I think it's just a warning because we still have some results. I will figure out it later. So let's build it again. And run it with our URL. Um, results are a bit different, but still not correct. All right, what, what I can see here is that we have a typo here. We shouldn't use labels file, but you should use just labels variable. And now let's build it again. All right, it's built, and now we run it with our file. Cool, success. We can have uh, valid labels now because we can see hair here, wood rabbit, and Gora. Nice, let's try now with some unusual image. Let's try it with some gopher image. Cool, I'll go back to Google and uh, say Google and gopher. Which one? Like this, okay. And let's run it. No, it's not a mouse. But it's possible to train this model, so it will recognize that gopher is actually a gopher. We can train our model with few images like this, so later it can work with other images of gopher. And this we will do in future. You can find the code of this application in package main repository and you can try with different URLs and different images. As you can see, here we used pre-trained inception model. So it's not smart because we cannot work with unusual images. And in future, I will make a video how we can build a model from scratch and how we can train it because it's possible in Go. Sounds fun? See you later!